Hello, everybody. Wanted to do a quick video to introduce you to the new 0.11 version of routine on Mac, Mac OS and Windows, so desktop. The first thing that we've changed is in the planner. Uh, we have a, a very smooth now, very much improved experience for creating events, um, editing events, etc. So uh, not a lot of things have changed visually, but the whole experience is a lot better. The second thing is that we have also matched the design of the agenda in the today screen so that you can see all the events now are displayed the same way as uh, in the planner. So it's a lot better looking. Something that you guys have been requesting for quite some time is more keyboard shortcuts. So now this is available. As you can see, I can change days very easily, change screen, change week, but also I can operate tasks uh, and events through keyboard shortcut to reschedule, postpone, um, even open a task or cancel an event, etc., etc., etc. A few more are going to come, but already you can achieve quite a lot with uh, what we have introduced. Now the keyboard shortcuts are uh, listed in the app, but basically you can access it through the knowledge base at base.routine.co. In keyboard shortcuts, you will have the full list of uh, everything that is supported at the moment. Now, something else that you have uh, requested for quite some time is the ability to search. So, uh, uh, we have introduced with the common or control F, uh, you can now search into all of your system to very easily navigate to an event, a task, a contact, or a page through this single system. So you could go to, I don't know, marketing sync, for instance, like an event like this. So you quickly navigate to it, but same thing again for people, for your pages uh, and so on. So it's very, very fast now to navigate anywhere very quickly, including your contacts, which were quite difficult to uh, go to uh, because uh, uh, those were not available uh, through a single interface. Now, keep in mind that searching uh, is available for your objects, tasks, contacts, uh, also events and pages, but not before searching in the text of the notes. This will come later. Finally, we've made a, a, another quick adjustment, which is the ability to put back your task in your inbox. So let's say you've got a task like this one. If you open it and you unschedule it or unpostpone it, it will actually be put back in your inbox, as you can see. So this also uh, was requested quite a lot. So we decided to make that possible. And that's really basically it for this new version. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let us know what you think. Thank you.